Hello everyone and welcome back to another brilliant and wonderful episode of the Wolford Podcast with your co-host Alex and your host Ben, who is me. Hello. Look, I'm not wearing a hat. I know, I can see. My first true reveal without a hat. Mm. Because well, I've had a story behind your haircut. Oh, do you want to hear it now? Well, we'll be talking about it because we missed a okay. week of the um, podcast. So we're here. Mm. Um, we promised a couple's quiz which we will be delivering later mr and mr yes and um but yeah do you want to know do you want to say why that we missed an episode what, what was going on with your week because your horoscopes for the past few weeks have been telling you to see your family mm. you hadn't phoned them they hadn't picked up the phone to you yeah well weeks. no that, yeah that was one week and then the following week they did pick up the phone mm. but i was meant to visit them but then they said they were going on holiday and hadn't yeah. told me so i finally arranged a week well like a thursday to saturday where i could see them Mm-hmm. Which was last Thursday and Saturday, and um, and because we already had our review of the year organised as well, we decided that we were going to just put put it's too much content. break, yeah, too much content. Step back and just maybe go a week, no episode. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, I think we we I don't know I don't know about you, but I was really tired last week as well, and I think that kind of has brought me back into myself. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I did the four hundred and seventy odd drive back home. Yeah, but I went back to England. How yeah, back it? into England. It was fine. <laughs> it was England. No, it was fine. It was lovely. Um, uh, people, obviously the mask mandate has changed in England. Um, even though they're kind of lifting regulations in Scotland, you still have to wear, as of today, mask. actually, you still have to wear a mask inside. But in England, it's now your choice. So it's kind of like you... If you feel like it's the right thing to do. And I would say... Basically, if it's your choice, people aren't going to do it. <laughs> well, I would say a majority of people did do it. But mm. it was much more noti- noticeable now that people weren't wearing masks. And there was actually an occasion... I haven't told you this. There was actually an occasion when I was in a service station um, on the way home. And uh, a guy got really angry at someone because he wasn't wearing a mask. He said, you should be wearing a mask. It was an elderly guy who wasn't wearing a mask. He said, you should be wearing a mask. We should be we're doing all this for you. And the elderly guy was going, I've been vaccinated. I don't need to wear a mask. And uh, yeah, that was... It's the American way. It's the American way. That's what I do. So, um, but yeah, um, but but I, I carried on wearing a mask. And to be, to, to, to be fair to my mum and dad, they carried on wearing a mask too. I was speaking, talking to them about it and they were saying, no, I think we should carry on wearing masks. So that was good of them. Good. That was nice of them. Um, but anyway, but, but my my... my Barber, not my personal barber, but the guy we used to go to and we used to live down uh, the south. Um, uh, kindly, I don't think he watches this podcast or listens, but Simon, if you are listening, <laughs> from Fuel Hair Mechanics, yeah, go to go there, brilliant. And he um, he he fitted me in. He just literally just kind of kindly fit me in yeah. in between clients and so I got my finally got my hair cut so since I've I've said this before since I've moved to Scotland I've not been able to find anyone to cut my hair no. and I've not really I'm I'm really funny about people I, I don't I don't know why Having your hair cut is just a horrible experience well, I don't like getting my hair cut at the no best one of times. likes it people pretend they like it but no, no one does literally no you, one. you have to sit there you have to do small talk you have to stare at yourself in a mirror you stare which is the worst a, yeah and when you're, they're cutting your hair you've got this image in your head of how you want your hair cut and as they're doing it you know they're not doing it how you want it done but you're too afraid of saying anything about it so then you don't say anything and you leave there and you just paid you know, 20 quid yeah. basically and yeah and a tip you just paid basically for someone to ruin your life for the next month while it kind of grows itself out and so I just thought to save, my, top. <laughs> to save myself your life. to save myself that hassle I'm just going to grow my hair and it was getting starting to look really really bad and that's why I started wearing a hat um, on the podcast um, and, and I would basically wear a hat everywhere the only occasion I wouldn't wear a hat was at work which I hated because every time I went into work my hair just looked like a mess so was that the only reason you went down with to have your haircut not to actually <laughs> see your family you've not mentioned them yet yes, how I was did. it I to see them? them it was lovely yeah 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 I mean I won't go into too much detail but my mum's not very well so um, it was it was hard to see that but you know it was nice going out with my family and we had a family mm-hmm. meal we went to a restaurant and they made a special menu for me because I'm a dirty vegan and they they made a free course meal especially for me was it not on the menu then they no literally made no it. the chef came out and talked to me and basically went through every single one of my <laughs> options it was no honestly I, again poor man I forget what it's called it. where did we go oh, I can't the remember the chateau was it the chateau I wasn't there uh, which is in the new forest go to the chateau in the new forest honestly. I stayed home on my own yeah Ben stayed at home looked after the cat <laughs> and after about six hours of me driving I got a message from him saying I'm bored so <laughs> that you know I was only gone for a couple of days but I, I was gone for Three long days. 
together. Days, wasn't it? No, it was, well, it was one day essentially. I left Thursday lunchtime and I came home Saturday lunchtime. Evening. So I was Evening gone for one home. full day. Well, again, I was home late because then when I got five minutes from our house, I had an accident. I had a car accident. Your car tire burst. Yeah. Yeah. Very dramatic. My front right car, no, my front left car tire burst and I literally went and against a, a bridge wall. I know, um, you were near a bridge as well. It was like over like a river, like a street. It was a very, so it was fine. Probably about like, as high as this. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, and but, there's no cars on the road, thank God, which is very lucky because it was quite a busy road when I had to come like, mm, find you. So. Well, two people, two people stopped and asked if I was okay. Um, the first one who asked me, I was in a bit of shock. It just had happened and I was a bit like, I think so, I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> and he was going, okay, then bye. <laughs> drove off. And the, and the other car was... um a group of young kids and I think they were there just to kind of maybe record just look at the accident <gasps> look at the accident I'm surprised they didn't have like their phones up and they're like are you alright mate like that you know whatever mm. but um, yeah, again it was nice of them to ask but I had to have it towed back but the next morning the only problem with it was the flat tyre the rest of the car's fine I mean the bumpers yeah the tyre like came off of its thing and it was all but the tyre was just yeah. flat so I replaced the tyre and I can drive it again but I am getting it just in case any of the listeners or viewers are worried <laughs> like I am getting the, the it's a shame the we didn't read your horoscope from last week because we mm. might have had a warning in there about your car maybe have a look actually because we didn't even look at that yeah we? accidents might happen or something like that and I'd be, be very foreshadowing mm. I mean you don't need to, well it's too late now. I can't do anything about it. Or Did it happen we... on the 8th yesterday? No, the day before. No, the day before would be the 7th. Okay, we'll go back even further then. I'll just skim through quickly. Okay, but, but well, I've been skimming through, but it was a lovely trip down south. And thank you to anyone who I bumped into who might be watching this right now um, for, you know, saying hello again. It was it was nice to see the old haunt, but at the same time, it's nice to be back home up in Scotland. Um, but it just feels, I said this to you as well, I don't know why, but I feel really cold all of a sudden again. <laughs> And it's I, not cold at all. And it's not even that cold. Um, but again, maybe it's just in my mind. Who knows? But uh, yeah, it was, it was we, quite the trip. We've um, also joined a gym as well. I thought we mentioned fitness. that last week. No, I don't think so. Okay. I don't know. But we've joined. Yeah, we've joined a gym. Not been to the gym yet. Well, you have. You've yes, been. But, but I've not, not been able gym. to because we literally joined the day before I then went away. <laughs> so I'm not be able to. But we are planning to go to the gym today. We're going to go swimming. Well, yeah, we're swimming at the moment because we... There's like an induction which was like weeks ahead, so we had to book that. Oh, we can't... I'm not going into the gym without full knowledge of what I'm doing. Well, they suggested that you don't traumatic. do it until you've got... You've had a walk around and you've had a full training plan done. I mean, we've gone to gyms in the past. Like, I've got really fit from going to the gym in the past. But we are eating better now as well. We're not eating junk mm-hmm. food. Like, we yeah, have a... long 18 months of um, badness. So I'm here with my water. All right, well, I'm with my black <laughs> coffee. But, um... I think, you know, I don't blame us for having like 18 months. I think we were all in the same boat, weren't we? It was all a bit tricky. Exactly. Uh, for everyone. So what's it said then? What's it said about me? Um, nothing really. It doesn't mention no. anything about your um, car accidents or worrying it's about It's almost anything. like, it's almost like horoscopes are a load of bullshit. Well, that's what we're testing. <laughs> yeah, well, Yours we have been, but mine haven't. So it's all a bit odd, <laughs> isn't it? Well, um, anyway, next week you have got whatever plans you have, make sure they're flexible. You may not feel in the mood to do much of anything. It's possible whether you were expecting to do what you were expecting to do is difficult due to implementing weather. This is a good day to sleep in, meditate or vegetate. Is that me? Yeah, that's you. Mm. I did need to catch up on my sleep, to be fair. That's what I said to you. I've, I've been I've been doing quite well actually these past few days. I've been catching my sleep back because I've been feeling really really tired, and it, I don't really know I don't really know why. Well, it's been getting me in a mood as well. I'm doing that drive up and down to to England and back. Is no, before that though, for like for, for a few weeks, I've been feeling a bit lethargic and tired. I've been well, maybe one of your moons isn't. <laughs> <laughs> which which one of my moons? Serious. It's telling you as well. You've got serious brain work next week as well. What's brain work mean? Your brain, your powers of concentration are quite strong and you're able to spot inconsistencies, errors, and root out problems. Oh, okay. But do this by yourself. If you add other people into the mix, a debate will happen. You <gasps> might feel criticised by co-workers and they feel the same about you. This is a good day for you to close the office door and do work solo. Well, if I could work solo, I would work solo, but I'm not able to in the job I'm doing at the moment. But that brain work thing, saying you need to work out problems yourself, maybe that's linked to something we talked about yesterday. 
because you were saying about wanting perhaps to move again to a, a different area. And I said to you, well, you need to tell me what bits, which, which kind of areas you want to move in, what's the reason for moving, blah, 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 blah. And you were like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. So maybe that's my brain work. I'm telling you to do it on your own. Mm. So, so, well, I will then. Well, I was though. I start, I went on to right move and we had a look. Mm. Because we're not, we're not so sure about where this house we're in. We're not sure. We like, we like the area, but we're not sure about the house. So we're kind of, we're thinking about maybe moving or not. Mm. Don't know. Don't know. Stay tuned. Do you know something else I just realised as well? I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to give details unless it's actually 100% going to happen. Mm. But yesterday I applied to go on one of my favourite game shows of all time. (laughs) An unnamed game show. An unnamed game show. They've only had one series. (laughs) It's bloody awful but at the same time I love it and the prize money is really rubbish the prize money is like not even worth turning up for (laughs) I don't care because it's just the best show ever so the only shows worth going for are like who wants to be a millionaire because you actually get decent money on it yeah but it's hard work to get there yeah, but even if you answer a few questions, you're going to earn more than most game shows. No, because the game show that you've to, to earn the same on the game show I've applied for, you have to, you have to answer four seven or eight questions on who wants to be yeah, millionaire. You have to get to the end. Yeah, but I reckon I do. There are many game shows which are <laughs> worth worth it for me, like to go on to. But like you it's watch like the chase, £10, you watch the chase, and like they win twenty thousand pounds between them, and then yeah. you go, oh, that's not very good. Five thousand pounds. Five thousand pounds. No, no, not if you if I'm going on a get you normally you're going to be on one game show in your life, aren't you? Then it really no, tends. oh no, like, no, not many people go on. Multiple a lot ones. of people do nowadays because no, there's so many episodes of them nowadays. They're everywhere. Yeah, but you you're limited to how many you can appear on before they're like not really. <laughs> okay. Well, fine. look at Pooey. She's been on two. Yeah. So it's a, it's a woman we like, follow on game shows. Two like she, rubbish ones though. <laughs> and it's pooey. Um, <clears throat> and um, you know that game show Eggheads? A lot that's of the, rubbish too. Yeah, but no, that's not my point. The panel, the, the five Eggheads who are on the Eggheads, about half of them are people who used to go on game shows multiple times. And that's why they're Eggheads because they used to go on lots and lots of game shows and win lots of prize money. So it's not a new phenomenon. A lot of people do go on multiple game shows, but this... I know, but the average joke, if you're going to be picked and be on like an average person, not a quizzer or someone who goes to loads of quizzes, you're probably going to be on one, maybe two game shows and be accepted Mm. in your lifetime. You might as well do the big ones. Which game show then, still made or not still made, doesn't matter, any game show you like, would you want to go on one win. that you can win at least yeah, like a hundred thousand. It's like, for instance, I would if if it was still being made in the UK, I would actually probably apply now for deal or no deal. No, that's mm, yeah, because you can guarantee if you get like a certain amount, you can go, can't you? But that's again, yeah. that's a bit luck based. It okay. is luck. Well, it's gambling. I can't think of any that which are um. It's gambling. Channel Four got prices. in trouble for that because Channel Four had to apparently had to get a gambling license for deal or no deal because it was considered gambling rather than a game show. Hmm. Ollie Mers was on that. He was, he lost, he didn't win a lot. <laughs> I met a, I met a woman uh, who won, a really, really, really elderly woman who won... I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> should I give you my uh, fairness of people who should be able to win on game shows An well? elderly person is just as much fair to win. <laughs> they might be leaving it for their grandkids. Well, I think that you sh- there should be an age limit from how old you're allowed to apply for a game Why? show. Why? Because you're getting up there now, so you better work That's true, saying. that's true. You haven't true. made it yet. I don't, I don't get me wrong, I think my theory is very unfair. For sometimes I see these, like this very, very, very elderly, frail woman who won, she won about £150,000 on Deal or No Deal. And like, I saw her a year later, she came into the place I worked. And she was horrible, by the way, as well. She was a miserable cow. On Deal or No Deal, she was all like, oh, I'm so happy, I'm so young of life. And when she came into our place, she was horrible. Money she changes was... you. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true so maybe my my theory is based on her because i met her in real life and i realized oh you didn't you don't deserve to win she never meet your heroes no she wasn't a hero <laughs> trust me but another game show i would go is catchphrase but that that i wouldn't care if i didn't win a lot of money mm, you i just win, love like, fifty thousand on that so that's that's fine mm. but I don't, yeah but in the old days it never used to be like that in the no, old days in the old days anymore when roy walker used to host it he used to win a holiday but then that's a, don't, you, don't you miss them days though, where you used to go on a game show because you uh, it was like it was cool to say I've been on a game show. Those day. <laughs> those, what do you mean those days? Well, when they didn't nowadays, every single game show is like we're giving away a cash prize. Pointless, isn't it? That's like a thousand cash. pounds. Yeah, so it's a cash prize. Yeah. Every single game show gives away a cash prize. Probably costs you a thousand pounds to get a train ticket <laughs> to London. No, because they pay for it. 
Yeah, they reimburse you all the, all the travel cost. Mm. Because if, if I do get this placement on this game show, I have to travel to Belfast. How fun. Yeah. But, um, but no, Pointless is a, is a different case in point because Pointless is one of those where people actually go on there to say, I've beat Pointless that's what I mean. and they get so a trophy. That's the good old days. But then you get a cash prize as a kind of yeah, little token. Yeah, it's like £1,000 and it really yeah. sets. It's really crap. Yeah, it's fine. But, but don't you think that every game show now is all about how much money you can make? And it's like, I prefer the games when it used to be like, you win a car. Or no, you win... that's Pointless. I just oh. want to win money. That's why I'm there. You're not there to have a good time. Yes, you are. You're, loser, like, you're getting in the old days. Like, the price is right. Like, you go to the price is right to, like, have a good time. Look at the audience. They're all high on jelly babies and sugar. Well, it's not the 80s anymore. When it wasn't the 80s, 70s, then, either. Or whatever it was. <laughs> good to say. I wasn't even born in the 70s. <laughs> right, I'm going to have a look at my one for next week, because we missed a week and it's all out of sync, so we're not going to... Your horoscope. We're not going to look back on anything. Um... If you're going over a contract today to buy a car or purchase a house, check things over carefully. Whoa. I keep saying I'm signing things. Letters and numbers seem to swim before your eyes. Swim. I have been swimming. <laughs> um, a low interest rate could suddenly morph into a balloon payment or extra fees. Take a non-Capricorn with you if you're trying to strike a deal. I'm a non-Capricorn. A Capricorn's not very good at making deals then, I'm guessing. Well, aren't they the goat? <clears throat> Capricorn, I don't know. I am Capricorn, but I don't know what it is. Oh, are you? A picture of... Yeah, that's why I'm reading the Capricorn one. I don't know. Well, I that's don't... a question for Mr. and Mr. later then. Well, I don't follow horoscopes, so I wouldn't know what horoscope... You don't know my horoscope. birthday. Right, today you're know finding your a balance between wishes and cold, hard numbers. Capricorn, you can access the most positive parts of this aspect, such as discipline... Don't know what that says. And good judgment. Pie in the sky thinking gives way to constructive analysis. So yeah. am I thinking pie in the sky? Maybe. Maybe that's all down to the whole housing thing. Capricorn is the goat, by the way. Oh, I'm trying to think. What are you? A fish or Aries. No, I'm a ram. <laughs> um, I'm curious about those letters and numbers in your swimming pool thing. I'm just wondering if someone's going to like throw... Maybe someone's going to give me their number. What, while you're swimming? While well, I'm changing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You know, you did. You said in the changing room that men aren't shy of flopping themselves it's about. Very a lot. strange in changing room. Is there like a certain age where a man gets to where he just walks? Oh naked? yeah. Like why? And what is because that? Because they age? don't care anymore. They don't give a damn. They just like who cares? They will just flop it out. In the changing room, though, there is like men of a certain age, and they're just walking around naked, talking to each other, like drying their things in front, like while talking to each other. They're all of a certain age. And then everyone under a certain age is either wrapped up in a towel or mm. changing in a cubicle Sensible. or whatever. So yeah. I don't, it is, it's just men of a certain age. I remember going swimming years ago and I'd be in this changing room and this guy literally stared at me square in the eyes and literally got his towel and started going... <laughs> and, like, everything was waving around everywhere. Mm. There was, uh, my eyes... I, Are they I, into voyeurism, do you think? Like, secretly into no, it? No, I just why think... why they... Some men do it? I just think... I just think elderly they people don't, don't care. care. They're just like, who cares? I mean, they need to be careful, because, like, what if a young child walked in? Well, it would be a boy anyway, who cares? I'm sorry? <laughs> well, so if like... a 12-year-old boy walks into a changing room and the guy is just swinging yeah, himself uh, around uh, everywhere. They're going to be naked in front of each other. They're not doing anything. I, they, they think that's a bit weird. No. I think it's a bit weird. Well, I don't know. I just think it's weird that men just do it in, in general. But it's just, what why, what age did they become when they... Did they did these men, old men used to do it when they were younger and they just kept it the tradition up? Or did they used to be wrapped up in towels? No, I think because I think I just think it's one of those things that you just get older and you just don't care. So one day I'll just not care. Though. Well, I'm wondering if we're still doing this podcast in like 20 years time. <laughs> one day we're having a conversation. I'll be in the moaning saying they yeah, they 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 young wrapped people. in their towels. Why are they wrapping themselves up? I want to see their supple bodies. God. Anyway. You should do it when you're younger, when you look the best, really, thinking about it. I'd and then never hide yourself good. later. I've never looked good naked, I'm afraid. Yeah, but that's that weird thing when you think you're fat and then... You look at a photo of you like two years ago and you're like, oh, I was really thin then. And now no. you're fat. And then like in two years' time, you'll look at a photo from today and be like, oh, I'm so thin then. Mm, no, there's two photos I always remember. There's the one photo of your cousin's wedding when we just before we started doing fitness. Mm, and that was a real eye open. And that was awful, <laughs> horrible photo. I mean, I'd be happy for you to show it on screen right now if you've got the photo. <laughs> if Ben's not shown it, then Ben doesn't want it to be seen by anyone. But there's a horrible <laughs> photo of both of us. We look, we look huge, don't we? We're, we're, Terribly. That's the. I think that's the biggest we've both ever been. 
Mm-hmm. And then you and I got... Current climate excluded. Yeah. Thank you. And then you and I got really fit over the course of about two years. And then there's the photo of me on the beach in the Dominican Republic. Mm-hmm. And that... Hot girl summer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hot girl winter. We know it at Christmas. Um, and uh, that photo is a lovely photo. And that's exactly what I want to be back to again. Why is it lovely, though? Because does it bring you happiness? It does bring me happiness because you can see I'm confident. You can see I'm happy with my skin at that point. And I think I just I genuinely believe. And I know being thin or thin or it's not even thin doesn't actually. equate. We shouldn't say it's. Thin yeah, I felt because fitter. It wasn't thin. It, we built up muscle and yeah, fat loss. We were eating blah, blah, blah. better. Yeah. I was running. I was literally running every other day. Skin was glowing. Yeah, I did a half hair marathon. My hair was lustrous. Uh, I did a half marathon. I was basically my fit. But it was around that time when the turning point happened because that's when I damaged my knee. Mm. And then it was at that point when it started going back downhill again. And that's where we are today. But it um, is weird because, like, I am just naturally what I am now. Like, that is right, just, like... I am like, like, what I am. <laughs> that is, like, na- like, I could eat, like, shit for, like, two years, which I have done. And I stay, like, a similar thing. A constant, yeah. Mm. But it's not a constant that I like. So that I, you have to then work to get it off. Mm. But there is, like, a natural state where your body's just like, yeah... Oh yeah, so, yeah. But I must say that I, and I, I did go through a phase of being like, I don't care. But actually, it's like no, now needs to uh, focus. Mm, I the mind because it helps your mind. It does help your mind. I think that's exactly it. It does help your mind, and not everyone's the same way. Some people who are larger are happy to be larger, and there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Absolutely nothing at all. I always wonder though, people who say like they're happy being large. It's so weird because Jody. This is really random, but Jody did. Whether it's J.D. Gibson, who won like Big the last ever Big Brother. Mm. On Channel 4. Yeah, her. Um, she was always like, oh, I love being big, I'm positive. Yes, and then she... her accent, a West Country accent. <laughs> no. I love being big. <laughs> and then she lost the weight, by, like naturally by training and stuff. And she was like, actually, when I said that, I was lying. I was just saying I was happy, but actually I wasn't. And like, you find that a lot of the time. That people say, oh, I'm really happy with how I am. But actually, when they do then lose weight... And they're in a better place. They're like, actually, no, I was just bullshitting then. I was just saying I was because... Mm. So I do wonder it was about that. Personality trait, maybe. Mm. I think it's finding your ha- your your middle. Because I think some people can go too far one way and they're not happy. Some people can go too far the other way. Mm. And that's a real problem too, because it's, you know, just body Even when we were really fit and fit, we were still like, we need to lose more weight. Like, do you know what I mean? There was no, no, you were, I wasn't. Me, oh, I was. You were really bad, actually. And I kept saying to you, you don't need to lose weight. And when we used to... We used to weigh each other, each other once a month because mm. that's what we would do it once a month. Don't on the same time and same day. <laughs> same time, same date. And you, on the same scale. Yeah, yeah, and you would gain like a pound and you'd go really down <laughs> about it. And it'd be like, Ben, look at yourself. It's because it's embedded into you that you always have to keep like losing two pound minimum. Like, yeah, but no then matter you were... what, like no matter how far you get, you have to just keep doing it. Yeah, but you were building muscle quicker than me. Mm. Your your build is more. Mu- Look at me. I'm I'm literally a stick. <laughs> like I am literally like if someone got like a lollipop stick and then put four matchsticks on each end, that is what my body I think naturally looks like. And if I wanted to build muscle, I would have to protein myself up to. Mm. I would literally have to have an intravenous of protein put into my veins whilst bodybuilding at the same time. <laughs> I think that's the only way I would ever build muscle. So. I accept that, so I know I'm never going to be big, but I know that the muscle I built was good and it was sustainable. With you, though, you when you build muscle, you literally have to lift up a phone and your arm goes boom, and you're building muscle in the right environment. Mm. And you don't, you, your head can't get your head round that. Because of and muscle when we weighs were more younger, than fat. It was just all messed up. Well, like, well, if you think about the shows that were on like Channel Four at the time and stuff like that, like it's just it messed people's minds up, didn't it? Like low fat. Of calorie like all yeah. that stuff that was so on like um 10 years younger or fat families or what was that channel like, 4 show had um, the doctor how to look good naked and stuff like mm. that they pretend they were positive but when you watch them back now you're just like mm. really it's like we're, like my mum will never wear a top with stripes on going a certain way because that was a rule that got one had like, do you know what i mean oh. and that is just embedded into um people's minds it's just not good. What was that awful game show? Uh, not game show. <laughs> reality <Loser>. show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We used to love The Biggest Loser. Again, Secret. not good. Um, uh, and they had that Dr. Christian who got caught, like, like oh, yeah. on um, Grinder. But, but embarrassing it, Body. N- well, there oh, was the food that. one. The food one where they got In a, a really, really skinny person mm. and a really, really overweight person. And they swapped diets. And they swapped their diets just so they could see exactly how bad they're yeah. eating. And it's like they were That's trying awful. to say like the skinny people were a good example, but mm. maybe like eating one apple. Or a, a Weetabix day. dry. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, yeah, it's awful. Mm. Not good. 
So yeah, be, but, um, be yourself. My, the moral of this story is be yourself, eat sensibly. You can eat fat, you can eat sugars, just don't eat lots of them. That's the main thing. Like, we're not going on a diet, we're just eating we just better meals. Shit. Are we, are we were just buying crap, basically. Yeah. I mean, and carbs, if you want to replace potato, have a sweet potato or butternut squash, mm-hmm. because that's a lower carb uh, alternative. <laughs> I'm going to start my own app soon. It's coming. Um, yeah, we have joined a gym. So yes. There you go. But we haven't been to the gym yet. Mm. Only swimming. Well, that's why we're not I'm allowed doing until we do. I do my thing so I can get yeah. a bit fit. Because that's another thing. Like, I want to lose weight before going to a gym. Is that weird? See, I'd be the other way around. I'd rather be going to the gym to lose weight before I go swimming. Yeah, but if you're swimming, really, really yeah, but if I go into a gym and like if no one else is as big as me, it's just like I need to lose weight before I go into the gym to start losing weight. <laughs> Yeah, but this is the That's same message again, isn't it? Is. Everyone started at some point in the gym. I know. And for, if, if you're not, if you, you should not judge anyone else and then no one will judge you. Well, that's the thing. Apparently, no one gives a shit. Nope. When you're in the gym. All, all people are thinking about is themselves. Which is true. Not other people. That's what you have to try and get into your head. Yeah. Cognitive therapy, you see? I'm, I'm on it. Yeah. I'm going through the motions. Just put your headphones in, keep your head down, <laughs> get your, what you're meant to be doing and just get on with it. Mm. Um, anyway, right, going on to our first topic then. Oh, God, we still... <laughs> God, we really haven't been here for a week, have we? I know. Um, I saw a video the other day where someone had said their parents didn't make them do any after-school activities or clubs or an instrument or anything. And now that they're an adult, they have no hobbies. <laughs> okay, well, then that's like... me as well then, I and guess. And got me thinking like... Yes, because my mum and dad, I wanted to ask, obviously you've answered the question now, so it's all mute, but I never was made to go to an after-school club no. or anything. Were you ever gone to any? No, I did go to an after-school club. Uh, I went to three to my mind. I did the school newspaper. Okay. Because of my journalistic mind. <laughs> um, but Here one of the reasons... today. Exactly. But one of the reasons I did that was because, I won't say his name, but the teacher who ran it, I fancied... <laughs> I'm going to admit that. Of course. Of course. Um, I used to go to after school drama club until it got uh, it got taken over by the teacher I liked, by the teacher I didn't like who teach drama, taught drama you at school. You didn't fancy? No, no, it was a female teacher who used to teach it and I liked her. <laughs> but then it got taken over by a male teacher who I hated. And so when he took over, I was a bit like, no, I don't, need, I don't like you anymore. So I stopped doing him. I used to do amateur dramatics as a kid as well. I've told you that in the past. I did that once by accident. <laughs> by accident? <laughs> How can you do it by accident? <laughs> because my mum... My cousin went to it. My cousin Richard went to or wanted to go to it. And my mum was like, you want to do that too, won't you? And I was just like, because you hear that you're you meant to do after school clubs. I didn't want to do it. And I was like, mm. yeah. And she was like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> and she had to pay like a year up front. Um, and I went to like one, I think. And I was just like, this is not what I expected. Could you like, not have done behind the scenes though? I can't remember. I, I, I kind of blanked it with my mind because it was just so torturous but I just remember sitting in like a small little um theatre thing like village hall yeah it's um forest arts it was called you know where we I know that, that yeah place. yeah yeah in there and it was like you just all sit around the corner and they'd be like oh you have to write a poem next week and read it out next and it's just like I just was like no this I've I've made a huge mistake um here so I went to like two, I think, Aww. and then left, and then that was the end of that. But my mum obviously paid a whole year because <laughs> you're not giving it to your brother to take over instead. Can they not transfer? My it brother to... was older by then, so mm, true. But um, that's the only time I ever remember doing one. I mean, I could, I knowing you, surely your mum would have known you better than I know you now. <laughs> Should have known that that would have not been a Ben Andrew, a Ben Andrews fucking thing to do. Excuse mm. my language, <laughs> but um. Yeah, even I would know not to kind of push that idea onto you. Well, apparently, my mum said that one day I changed as a uh, as a child. I just completely changed one day after I was at my nan's house, and my mum said I used to be really huggy and like t- like I used to like show my emotions. And apparently, I asked my nan for a hug, and she said, "Oh no, you're too old for that." And then ever since that day, apparently, I've been different. Mm, you aren't very touchy feely. So, you know. When I hug you, you keep your arms by your sides. <laughs> so you know you don't know what you're gonna do if you say something to a kid or anything. You don't know how it's gonna um, affect them for the rest mm. of their lives. So I think it explains that a lot maybe about your... why she let me do the dra- <laughs> amateur drama, yeah. not knowing that I was in the middle of a uh, 
crisis trigger. <laughs> Although also she she might have tried to do it to try to get you back out of your shell because that's mm-hmm. the only reason I did it when I was a kid. My mum and dad were worried that I was a really quiet child, and then as I was at school, I used to kind of just keep myself to myself. And teachers were a bit like, oh, he's, he's, you know, he doesn't tend to on the push him out there. Yeah, but on the playground, um, like all the kids would be playing, and I'd literally just lap. Like I was in prison, I would literally just lap round around I used the playground. To do that. Me and two friends, one or two friends. I had no just, friends. We used to just walk around, <laughs> round and round, and then I like made friends with one group, and then I ditched. I was really bad. It was really Aww. bad. I, actually, I know it's awful. I ditched um, one of them because he wasn't into it, and I felt awful. But I did make up with him in the end. Okay, I, like five years later, <laughs> well, that's when fine. I was drunk, we like gone into, we snuck into a boat. Right. Nothing. <laughs> okay. But um, I did feel very guilty about what I did. Mm. But um, you're an idiot when you're at school. So that's that. That's yeah. I found friendship and I grabbed it for the for one time. Grab hold. But um, yeah, never. So what's happened to me? Um, is it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't let go. <laughs> as much as I struggle and try to pull myself away. But, um, never been on to. Didn't you like do like beavers or something? I don't know what they're called. I did beavers and I like beavers, and then that moves you up to scouts. And See, I, I never hated them, scouts ever. Yeah, I, I did. I liked beavers, but I hated scouts. You would have hated again. You would have hated scouts. Mm. I remember we. I went on one scout garm camp thing when you would basically go away for the weekend, and I cried the whole time. I hated it that much. Yeah, because my a lot of some of my friends did like what's it called? Not army. Is it army? Cadets? Oh, cadets. Yeah, cadets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember yeah, that. Because yeah. they had to like shoot a gun, and the gun like went into his eye, and now he has to wear glasses forever. But like, um, was it? Um, is it PJ or Duncan? Like in Biker Grove, I don't know. when he had the, not the... seen Biker Grove. Oh, it's a famous scene. So Anne and Deck before they became Anne and Deck, where PJ and Duncan on Biker Grove. Oh, when he goes blind. Yeah, oh, and he takes his goggles off, and then the the paint gun shoots oh, into his eyes. He, he, goes, he was ah! like doing it like that, like the gun was on his eye, like for a sight. And oh, it and it hit backwards. back. Ooh, sugar. Yeah. That's the only record thing I remember from it, but. So we have no skills or hobbies in our lives because no. of um, no after school classes. But that was another they thing. Didn't force us into anything. An but instrument. I noticed that nowadays that that the kids are now almost forced. It's like there's a diary of what they need to do. No, it's like multiple ones a week. Yeah, I used to just come home, play my PlayStation. I used to come home and watch children's television. I think I've explained this on numerous occasions. PlayStation helps me. I know my left and right. You know. No, you don't. PlayStation controller. You don't because I you still do. to this day say go right and you go left. No, I don't. Left. So I saw a video yesterday. The easiest way to remember it is that picture left and right in your head and the order it said is left and right. Mm. Or on your hand, left. Yeah. And then... What if you don't use the English alphabet? That's not very helpful. Is it? Well, isn't the English alphabet a descendant from the Roman and Greek? I don't know. So most of Europe will probably accept that as... Don't care. Europe's <laughs> not the whole world. <laughs> Although isn't... F- what's left? Dwat or goosh, isn't it? Goosh, isn't goosh right and le, t- le twat, le twat, le not twat. What are you doing? Talking French. French. Oh, I don't know. I suppose it German. wouldn't work. I suppose it wouldn't Lynx work. is left in German. So it work in German. Mm. I remember that because it's Lynx, the deodorant. <laughs> That's the only reason I remembered that one word. <laughs> it's like it's not called Axe, like in the UK. Instruments, I used to, I used to play the violin. Mm-hmm. For I, how long? Oh God, I played for ages, but I never got very far because I hated it. Every time the teacher would be like, have you practiced? And I'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, no. I never liked music at school. Yeah. I like Hated music. It. I just I never understood. Like I remember once we went to sit in the thing and listen to a bit of music, and she was like, "Count the the beats, the beats." And I was just like, I was sitting there thinking, "What the fuck am I?" I just <laughs> counted in my head. I was like, "I have no idea what I can't do music. I can't do rhythm. No, video you can't. Games. Can't do it. When, I can't when, hear beats and music. When, it's really. funny because you're more into music than I am too. But whenever we're like we like not a concert or something where people say clap along to the music, no. you crack me up because everyone else is like clap clap, and you're oh, always no. the beat out. I can't so do hear it. clap claps because I have to see what everyone else I... is doing first, and then if I'm clapping, is people watching me? <laughs> Obviously, people are. You judging me? See, it's all just a big. I'm thing. not judging you. I go you. to a gym and I can't go in the gym. Well, it's like one of the gym exercises is like clapping, isn't it? <laughs> Whereas you'd be in trouble. Oh dear. Anyway, right. Speak about video games. Let's do a little link into this oh, because right, yeah. um, there's a new way to do music concerts now. I mean, this is genius. I know what you're about to talk about. Yeah. This is so, very clever. Yeah, Ariana Grande did mm. has done. I think it's three nights. There's a concert in a video game. And she had her self made into a skin that you can play Fortnite in. Mm. And like loads of um, gays are playing as Ariana Grande on Fortnite and doing all sorts of things. And people aren't killing each other. They're hugging each other. They're dancing with each other instead of shooting each other. That's lovely. So it's all, you know, it's all going on. But yeah, she's done her own 
sort of concert. And it's not like you just sit in a virtual room and watch her sing. It's like a series of like levels and mini games while she's performing. <laughs> so like people, there's like a huge version of her in like space and people are on flying unicorns and they're like collecting things and it's all while she's singing a little I mean, song. I mean, it's just, it's just Is it how the future. Ed, I wouldn't say it's the future, but I would say Isn't it's another. It? No, I just, think it's the future. No, I just think it's another way. The future of is now. People getting, it's another way of people getting their music out. I mean, it's obviously only going to work for very famous artists. Um, so I don't think you're going to get like someone who's literally just written a song on their bedroom floor being asked by Epic I think, to um, do a concert on their game. It may not be him, but I think Lil Nas X did one in Minecraft where like they made a Minecraft world and he made a music video in Minecraft. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. But you know, they're going off. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it's just another way of getting your art out there, isn't it? And mm. it's, it's another way of making money. Let's not, you know, hide behind the bushel. It's, it's literally, that's the reason they're doing it, because they knew that people would, who have fallen out of, my, uh, not Minecraft, Fortnite, come back to it because of Ariana Grande. And on another note, and I don't know if it's for certain, I've not read the article, but probably a lot of young gay Men and women who, not that Ariana Grande's market <laughs> isn't mainly gay people, but there's a, there's a, there's a, met her brother. <laughs> but there is a gay market there, let's be honest. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of gay teenagers, young lads and, and girls have probably seen this and seen this as an, yeah, this is, this is, mm-hmm. this is an opportunity for me I mean, the gaming to market is very homophobic, like known to be homophobic. So this is just a little, little step. Yeah. With her ponytail. But, um. It's nice. That's tr- actually true. It's nice because sometimes when they have a, for instance, I know this isn't, again, do with se- uh, homosexuality, but when there's a female protagonist, unless it's Lara Croft, people go wild on Twitter saying, oh, female protagonist, I'm not playing that game then, <laughs> Ugh, sick. Because I think it's, it's mainly sweaty. Sorry, I'm going to be in so much trouble. Right. Swe- sweaty old men. No, sweaty. A lot of gamers are quite macho because they play Call of Duty like twenty four seven or FIFA and so and they they tend to be like it's like anything the smallest like, the smallest voice is normally the loudest and they're the ones like making a big point about it yeah there's no boob physics or anything like that yeah. going on thank God was it dead or alive volleyball <laughs> about it I mean I used to play that when I was young <laughs> and that's what's happened no um, let's be fair that that is hilarious that they've done that it was. And, but, like, the ultimate prize on that game was you had to spend, like, 10 million coins or whatever you collected on that game. And it, you got you could buy, like, a bikini, which was, like, two bits of string. Brilliant. And that was what it was. Perfect. I never unlocked it. Shame. Tried so hard. And that's why you're gay. Because <laughs> if you only unlocked that string bikini... <laughs> things could have been so different. I wouldn't be here now. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, three-day tour, the Rift tour is what Rift. it is. And um, yeah, so you could you're strapped into planes, given the chance to shoot at large enemies and purple crystals. You go down slides with love people filled with colourful goo. You can't hurt each other. Nice. Yeah. Sounds like an episode of Double Dare. So it's all very magic and rainbows and all sorts. Of I things. like it. I think it's a nice idea, and yeah. I know I know it's a capitalist idea. At the end of the day, you know they're they're kind of painting. They're painting the capitalist idea with rainbows and unicorns, but at the same time, it's nice that it's being done is out there. And I saw someone say that they've never played Fortnite or don't know how to, and mm-hmm. they asked their older brother to sit in the concert so they could watch it with him, and he did. So you know, bringing families families together. together. I've got no problem with video games. I really to hate when people start, like, when especially media start jumping on the kind of. But the thing I have problems it with. You into a murderer or whatever. Yeah, yes. the thing is, I have problems with, and I won't go into detail about it, but is loot boxes and the gambling mechanics in games. Mm. And, like, a lot of young people. My nephew, again, mentioned it. He got in trouble again for spending. <laughs> A lot of money. He's I, taking your brother's car. He takes in my brother's, well, no, his Apple ID, and he keeps buying, oh. th- like, lots of things. I know his PlayStation ID, his PlayStation store. And, um, he keeps buying things, and he's got, and again, so it does, it happens. It is ridiculous, the, um, mechanics. And they're like, yeah. like, they're like 59.99 for, like, a chance to do mm. something. It's like, but people do it. Like, mm. I think Mario Kart, Nintendo, they said they made a hundred million dollars this year already well, on their app on just the Mario Kart game I mean Mario Kart Tour yeah I mean I, I'm, I'm a bit like you in this thing. I remember you saying it and that's how my kind of mind works now if I've played a game for a long a mobile app game because I do play okay, I play Mario Kart Tour mm. if I play it for a long time 
And I know Nintendo don't need the money, but for all instances... Throwing £15? I don't mind throwing a fiver if I've played it for like Mm. six months, two hours a day. It's technically free. Then there's people that like go out of their way to spend like... God knows. Well, it's it's buying to win, isn't it? It's Mm. it's and that's that's where the problem is. I mean, um, if you want to like, if you if if you want, obviously it's a parent's responsibility to look after the kids. But at the same time, if it's not there as a temptation to begin with, which it shouldn't be, then it's not entirely the parent's fault. Because a lot of people will be like, "Wow, it's the buck stops at the parent." Well, no, it doesn't. It stops at the video game company, where Mm. there should be locks or procedures. Yeah, they've made it to be addictive, like purposefully. So it's like. Yeah, not good. Egg crackly. But, um, before um, yeah. we get on to our couples quiz then, mm. one last bit of news, sad news. The X Factor was being officially cancelled. <laughs> I mean, it's not surprising, is yeah. it? I mean, I thought it was cancelled like two years ago. It's not been on for a while, has it? And they cancelled a series because yeah. of COVID or whatever. But um, yeah, it's the end of an era. It, I mean, it's it's an end of an era, but also it's an era that you can look back on and think, was it that great after all? Because yes, it made some huge singing stars, mm. but it also it was a really. It, mm. I, I was, the truth is like being slowly coming out in the past few years anyway. Yeah, and like what how the they scenes. treated some of the people and mm. like um, there's that one woman, the famous woman who did who was a pink impersonator, mm. and she said, "I don't want to do a pink song because I'm a pink impersonator." And they said, "Oh no, you have to." So they said that's your song choice and then she did it and then the judges were like why did you do that you shouldn't do that and it's like yeah and there's all sorts of dodgy contracts where they they sign you up and then you they don't let you allow you're not allowed to release music for like five years um yeah so after basically that once ended. your contract with them is ended you have a five years of no promotion Wait, you no fall out music, of existence and then you can't mm. have a career so um Thing is, if something like that wouldn't happen or couldn't happen nowadays, because if you say you're not allowed to release music, there's there's probably a loophole there where you could still sing on YouTube, for argument's sake. I know, but it's not quite. But, but and then, but way, way back ten years ago, that wasn't a mm. thing, um, which is why a lot of artists kind of fell out. I think the only one who, in my opinion, the only one who really did incredibly well from it was Leon Lewis. Do you think? Even she ended up having to mess around with his contract. Well, and yeah, stuff, didn't she? yeah. I mean, One Direction, I guess. Well, they God. stayed with them for a while, didn't they? And then they're all billionaires. Yeah, but they were exhausted by the end of it. Like, they were having vitamin injections and all kinds of stuff to <laughs> kind of keep themselves walking. And they were young lads as well. I mean, if they were, if it was like, if, ten, if it was me, I would be dead by the end of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the thing I hated also was the kind of, and then it was fun to kind of think about it, but it's like, it was almost like going to a carnival in Victorian times when they used to bring out the freak show. And like in the early series, they used to always bring out the funny acts and they used to sing a song together mm. one by one. And they'd be like, Yeah, there's stuff like that where you look back at it now and it's such cringy. a different climate that that's, you're like, that was really bad. Like a lot of these people were quite vulnerable, probably. Yeah. yeah. And um, mentally unstable. It was just laughing stock. So yeah, I think those all those type of shows are kind of. A relic of the past, and like mm. a few of them are still going, but well, it's it. I was there's not much to them. Like I, the voice is still going, but yeah. But that's so a the, different show. That's yeah, a the point kind of, of the show, voice is meant to be like it doesn't matter what you look like, but every single contestant looks immaculate and not on the styled. BBC series. Let's be honest. Yeah, that was years ago. Yeah, but on the first BBC series, the first winner wasn't it that blind girl? Mm. She won it, didn't she? Yeah. Um, not to say she wasn't beautiful. Gosh, before I get the hate, she, of course she's beautiful. No, but like she wasn't but traditional. She wasn't a but traditional nowadays, artist. They all are. So it's yeah. just like, well, what's the point? Mm. In the, vo- the voice is crap anyway. But um, we're talking about the X Factor. Mm. Well, well the best moment of X Factor, obviously, I think everyone can knows what the best moment is. Are you gonna? Do you know what I'm thinking of? No. Oh, well, then I say it, you will. Beyonce? Oh, yeah, Alexandra with Alexandra Burke. Yeah, that was funny when she was like, oh my God. <laughs> I think that is like the peak of X Factor. Mm. And then from there, it was just what it was. But, um, Who's um, the uh, one who sang Uptown Funk? And like the song hadn't Fleur been... Reese, Fleur yes. That was good. Because that song hadn't been released mm. by uh, who Bruno Mars was meant mm. to be releasing it. But they, yeah, they went through a few contract... Oh, not contract, a few negotiations, and she was allowed to sing it before it was released. Before it was released. Mm. That they did was that good. with a Whitney song as well when she was making her comeback. They let she let them do one of her songs before it was released, mm. and then she appeared and sang on the stage, and her dress popped off, and it was all just it went wrong for old Whitney. Poor Whit. <laughs> she sang herself out of her dress. Talking about EastEnders now, Whitney and her singing. <laughs> hey. Oh, can I just also mention that um, another one of Simon Carroll's kind of things, uh, Britain's Got Talent, or mm, the, the Got that. Talent. I've yeah. never liked that. It's boring. There was one good series, the Susan Boyle series, because it had diversity on there as well. Was that like series two? 
or one. No, I think it was three or four. Oh, really? But that was the, that was the good series. Um, and it had the guy who um, played Shaquille in EastEnders as well. That was his series too. <laughs> anyway, uh, he, uh, but um, Britain's Got Talent, they've said that there was reading an article and they said, if you watch this, again, the early series of that and how it's produced today, again, there was very much the kind of bear baiting carnival act that they used to show mm. on Britain's Got Talent. And now they've slowly started flooding them out and it's now just about like showing the talent of the Britain. And again, it's showing the climate of how things have changed so i mean i think britain's got talent will survive a few more years but again that's becoming a dead format i'm still waiting for um david william williams to like be cancelled like i it's just something is waiting for him to do something which is like not mm. acceptable oh, like, yeah. i can see it it's gonna happen you heard it here first Anyway, Come so on anyway, then. poor X Factor was cancelled. So we're going to do Mr. and Mr. Couples quiz now. Have you got actual questions? or I've got three questions. Okay. Well, we'll do your three then first. We're going to do my three first. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to I'm going to ask you to write the answer on this piece of paper and a pen. Can I just say the answer? No, because... No, you're doing it this way. What just if do I it can't this way. spell the word? Oh, I'm sure you'll be able to spell the word. Okay. I'm going to then... Well, if it's spelled wrong, no one... I won't um, look, comment, so I'll please. turn my chair a little bit round. But um, <laughs> what I'll do is I'll then tell you what the answer is and you have to hold up his paper. Okay? What does a winner get? A signed picture of Donald Duck down there. A signed picture of yourself then? I'm going to go grab that to show everyone okay. what the prize is. Um, well, I'm gonna, it's not even signed. It's just a cell. You're not near the microphone, so I wouldn't even talk it's probably, about you. Okay. It's probably not even a real cell. You know, like an itchy and scratchy <laughs> when Bar Simpson gets so the, the winner, This is what the winner gets, everyone. Gets this They're, Donald Duck cell. Okay, see? There you go. Beautiful. Now, comment below. Do you think Donald Duck looks a little bit like Ben? Because I do. Can I even see that? Why don't you just get it? There you go. I think Donald Duck is the spit of Ben. Especially when you lose your temper. I don't ever lose my temper. Well, you do. And when you do lose your temper, you look like Donald Duck. Now, I can't find the questions I found for you now. And that's going to be... So, what? Am I answering these and then you, you have to answer the same ones as me? Or what? No, I don't quite know how this no, you, not you, put any preparation. Into. You just asked I've three got questions. pre-made questions on a website I have, so mine so may be I, quite so generic. I'm, so am I, so I won't get yeah, too upset. Okay. Um, no, I'm just going to ask you questions about if you know me well enough. So just personal questions about me, basically. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. What star sign am I? Didn't know that, did you? Capricorn. Mm. Mm. Uh, okay. Okay. So first of all, then. Okay. What is this is an easy one, I think. What is my favourite food? Oh, that's uh, that's such a simple. I saw that on one of the things, and I thought that's just the most stupid um, question because it's just obvious. Well, for me it might be. Okay, what do I do now? Okay, and tell you what, if you know if you know what it is, and then you have to put. Considering now I'm vegan as well, what would be if you put pizza? I'm not telling you. Okay, if you put. Pizza, Did you just look? No, I haven't. Well, don't. Oh, okay. Carry on. Put. What, I'll put pizza now, though. Okay, you put what my favourite topping is then. What's my favourite topping? Even if <laughs> even vegan topping. <laughs> and I'll give you my non-vegan, but you don't need to know that before my I became a vegan. Topping. Yeah. I'll tell you, I'll give you a clue. Before I became a vegan, my favourite topping was basically pepperoni. I don't want a clue. Right, so what do I do now? Hold Show it up. To the, um, and camera. the answer is I pizza. That's not rever- reversed. Pizza. It says vegan pizza, jackfruit topping. <laughs> I mean, jackfruit's close. I would have some kind of fake kind of meat on there. You can get jackfruit, jackfruit. pepperoni. Yeah, but actually... I did a heart on the eye as well, I saw just that. to show how much um, my heart, how much it is. But okay. my favourite actually would be a spinach pizza. Now I'm vegan. Really, I've never mm. seen you have spinach ever. Before. Yes, you have. When I had it on that, what's that posh pizza that I found? I've had it twice since. Well, I please have a, a, one of them, a spinach one, and you roll, said spinach at me. Yeah, but that's before I was vegan. That's proving my point okay. that I say things to you. Right, you say. That's not happened. And then you then do it yourself. Okay. So. Next question. Next question. Okay. Make sure it's harder this time. What was the name mm. of my pet guinea pig? <laughs> what? I have mentioned the <laughs> guinea pig before. Have you? Yeah. Well, I've never heard you mention any pet. Because before. I told you my you brother... You hated animals. I, well, that's one of the reasons I mentioned it to you. Because I told you that my brother was given a rabbit called Thumper. I had a guinea pig. What if I said my dog then? Do you remember my yeah, dog? No, nah, that's rubbish. No, okay. do you think? Let's change okay. and make it easier for me. Should I give you a clue? Um, Should I give you the sex of the guinea pig? Male. No, it's female. Oh. 
my female guinea pig that is to um okay I think that guinea pig was bullied by our rabbit as well. So this is my answer, everyone. Right. So the answer should say <laughs> Jenny. <gasps> Jessica. Oh, close. Is that because of Jessica Rabbit? Even though it's no, guinea pig. No, Jessica Fletcher. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. I do love, I do love Murder, She Wrote. I do what love... was her name? Jenny. Jenny. Who's Jenny? The guinea pig. Yes, but why did you choose Jenny? I don't know. I just chose the name was Jenny. Was there a girl that you liked called Jenny that you're friends with? I had a friend called Jenny, but oh. I didn't name it after her. Hmm. But I remember now character. you said that. I remember when I was in the playground and I told them I was getting a guinea pig and I was naming it Jenny. She got really excited. But yeah, Jenny. So hopeful. Jenny the guinea pig. Okay. So I've got one right so far. Mm-hmm. Okay, last one. Yeah. What is... And I have told you this. What is my lucky number? What? <laughs> or do you want an easier one than that? That's just, okay, fine. What that's is... Oh, no, I'm going to have to make one up now. What is... Oh, what was my very first job while I was at college? <laughs> the cat's trying to get in the room. Is he? Well, we'll let him out. I'm probably not picking up on the microphone because I'm covering my whole face here. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, I don't know what the job is called, but that's like the gist of what I okay, said. Okay, well, my first job out at college, I was to work the weekends in a photo development store. Photo person. <laughs> A photo person. That's I don't know what they're called. I'm, but I'm yes. glad you've not sexed me either, so that's good. <laughs> so there you go, two out of three. Two out of three. Didn't know my guinea pig Jenny, who I have spoken to you about. Yeah, but Jessica is extremely close to Jenny. Fair. Give me the pen and a piece of paper. So I got. So you. So far, you're winning this. Where's that cell? You're winning the cell. Oh, this. Yeah. 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 I'm this is win. what we're playing for. A Donald Duck cell. A Ben Andrews cell. <laughs> Okay, yours are going to be really hard now, I can tell. No, I need to, I've not even actually chosen them. I just need to flick through these and just... Um... Okay, I'm going to do this one then, okay. as soon as you did that. Okay. Where's it gone? Oh, no, please don't be, because I think... Okay, go on. What? Go on. What was the name of my first pet? I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I knew it. Dog, that is. Yeah, I knew it was a dog. Um... Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. There's, there is done two. There might be one I've not told you about, but I'll see what you say. Well, I'll put another name underneath, which I think might be the second one. <laughs> um, hang on. Let me hold it up. Right. What does it say? Poppy. Poppy. And I put Hazel. Did you have another Hazel? dog called Hazel? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Well, Poppy is your first pet, though. Poppy was my main pet. We have a dog, dog before that called Donna. But she was like, she was Donna. one of those little rat, white ratty dogs. Yes. She was horrible. She got given to us by someone. What was Poppy? Jack Russell Cross Spaniel, I think. That's funny because you hate Jack Russells. Hmm. She wasn't really, she was more Spaniel than Jack Russell. Poor Poppy. I know, bless her. Gone too soon. <laughs> it's very traumatic what happened to Poppy actually when she died. Do you want to say? Did I, do you remember you I told her? Oh, yeah. I don't, need to tell you. I don't know. Oh, you can tell the <laughs> audience. She basically, she died in front of me when I was on my ho- home alone. My mum. My dad was at work or something. Like <laughs> Somewhere. Don't talk to him. Um, my mum was visiting someone in Scotland and um, I woke up. The dog came up to me, wagged its tail and fell over and died in front of me before I had to go to work on a Saturday morning at um, hairdressers. So, uh, didn't, didn't you have to, to didn't you have to, did you had to put the dog to rest somewhere and then you went to work? Mm, well, I phoned my nan because I didn't know who else to phone. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know what to do when the dog dies in front of you. No, of course not. It's like, oh, that's very traumatic. And then I went to work thinking I'll be fine and, it, and like I said it to someone in a a customer heard. She kept talking to me about it when I was washing her hair. She was like, I felt so sorry for you. So I was, so I was like getting her upset. And then every time she came in from then on, she would mention it. Like every time. She was like, I felt so sorry for you. I was like, thank you. How's your dog? <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, awful. So. I mean, I think, I, again, it's, it's probably a shock thing as well for you. Like again, like when I had my accident, like the shock, I couldn't function anything. Mm. Like I couldn't Google getting a tow truck. In the end, you had to do it for me. Mm. Um, so it was horrible, because I didn't, horrible. But she just got up out of her bed to like come see me, and oh. she fell over and died. And I was like, I have to be in work in like ten minutes. It's like, not that that's like the main problem, but it was just like, what do you, what do you do? Poor Poppy. <laughs> I, I phoned my mum, and she was like, well, I had to tell her that she's at a crisis. <laughs> not good. A crisis. But was... yeah, my nan came in. We had to put her in a blanket and take it into the garage, and then I had to go to work. Do you feel still feel like you've got like the spirit of like Poppy? Because I still I, don't mock me for this. I don't believe in ghosts or anything like that. But I still feel like there's a bit of my first dog was called Duke, mm. and I still feel like there's a bit of Duke around me still. Like I can't ever take away like if Charlie ever died, I can't ever take away Charlie. Like I would always imagine him 
sat next to me. Mm. Like now, he's just sitting there looking like an idiot, looking <laughs> his bum. But that, that, you know, no, it's weird. Like memory, Poppy. I can't. It's weird. I can't actually remember what she was like when I see photos of her. That's not how I remembered her being. It's very odd. Yeah, me. but I'm um, digressing. Messed up. Was that my first question? Wasn't that it? was your first, and I got it right. Um, let's have a look then. Poor Charlie. He knows we're talking about his demise. <laughs> odd. How very dare you? Oh, this is how very dare you question. This is a bit rude. Don't mind rude. <laughs> Mine were quite generic now I look back at it. If you've got any questions for Mr. and Mr. you'd like us to play, comment below or get in touch with us. You can find us on Twitter. Um, I think all the details are at the top of the show or Ben will put them in the show notes. But you can find them. Um, we'll do one from round two then, one of the naughty ones. How long after you first met did you first have intimate relations? That's not really a question, is it? That's stupid. Well, oh, do you remember? So clearly you don't remember. No, I do. <laughs> not... Let me just scroll through. I'm very unprepared. Um, who... well, I'm, okay. oh, I'm going to tell who... a story then about when we first did it. Why? Please because it's don't. funny. No. Okay, fine. Funny? Yeah, it is funny because you, you went out. Basically, I went over to your house and you left the room and came back smelling like a French whore. <laughs> what? <laughs> clearly, because you got changed from work stuff and you were like, like that. And um, you were like, like, because I, I had a, a bad relationship before you, and so I wanted to play it slower than maybe you did. And, <laughs> yeah. And um, <laughs> that's new information. And, uh, yeah, and, like, you were, like, making all the news, and I was like, okay, fine. But I just remember, I just remember that you coming into that room, like, almost, like, flung yourself into the room. It's just stinking of, like, literally a bottle of al- aftershave. Anyway, sorry, go um, on. Okay, um, what's my, what is the best impression that I can do? What's it called? Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. I'm going to do two, but this was the main one. <laughs> I've never thought about this myself, so I don't even... No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Should I hold up the answer? Yeah, I'm going to have to try and think. I can only think of one. Which I'm assuming you'll do. Have you hold it up? Yeah. Ready? Uh, yeah. I'm not looking. That Kermit the Frog? Kermit the Frog. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. But I also said you do quite a good Mariah Carey. What? <laughs> you, you do. You walk into a room singing your little head off. <laughs> um, I first learned that Ben could do a Kermit <clears throat> the Frog impression, because I don't think he's going to tell this story either, when I was watching <laughs> one of his college videos. <laughs> By the way, please try to find his college videos, because they're bloody hilarious. Oh, they're awful. There's one called Beautiful Martha. <laughs> Look for it. And uh, Ben basically... I'm not in it. I just recorded <laughs> yeah, it. Scri- <laughs> scripted. <laughs> scripted, audio, recorded, everything by Ben. And All uh, my media projects were done in a day. And, ed- and, like, and they, they showed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, we'd be given like two weeks to do them. Not, um, you did a B-Tech in media as well. Yeah, I know. At college. That's what I wanted to do and I couldn't get in. And I you did, did it. Media. And, oh. I did it all. I ended, up having to do design. I ended up having to do it as an A-level with photography and drama. Two other... Co- there's two courses I didn't want to do. I did. It wasn't a course, but we were the first year. That's why I like got by with a really good grade, because they didn't know how to grade it or anything. Oh, really? So, you know, I was there with my distinction, you know. But yeah, Ben did a Beautiful video. Beautiful Martha got a distinction, everyone. Check it out. Honestly, check it out. Check it out. Beautiful Martha on YouTube. <laughs> it's just... It's a sight to believe, honestly. Uh, but yeah, you did a Kermit with the Frog impression on one of your videos, r- really randomly. Oh, and the bear and the bee! The bear mm. and the bee video. Ben did an animation of a bee flying out of a tree, and the bear <laughs> literally his eyes, just, like the animation is top notch. Like Walt Disney were, were gagging for Ben, like offering millions of pounds <laughs> after this video. Uh, and the eyes just move from the, the, the bee down, and then the bee stomps on the bee! <laughs> that was Ben's animation. Yeah, if you can find Ben's uh, college course. <laughs> Please share the links below. I'm going to try and find it. I don't think I can right now. We'll show it in a minute, but we've got to do um, the last question. Oh, have I not done my last You've question? You've got two, yeah. <laughs> um, where was our first date? Oh, God, this is going to be lengthy. Lengthy? Well, it is, isn't it? Um, I... You can look for that video now while I write this. I think... This is fascinating stuff for anyone who's listening. 
Oh yeah, I forgot we were on there. Um, yes, our first date was. Um, well, hang on, I was my outfit. I'm not know. saying what it is. I'm just saying. Oh, well, I think we've actually said it on the podcast. Because I said yeah. I wasn't going to turn up. <laughs> well, I've written that as a, as a side note. Round and round. Four. Three hours. Okay, cool. So, our first date was. I mean, you don't have to acknowledge it. This is exactly the answer. I picked you up in my car. Um. Mm-hmm. after I had a cigarette as well so it was full of smoke <laughs> and uh, and you almost cancelled as well but your friends convinced you to s- still see me mm-hmm. and I drove you round and round and round for three hours because we, you and I couldn't make up a decision of where we wanted to stop to have a drink or anything nice. and your ears were pierced then as well and you lost your ear, ear piercing it was like a Superman ear piercing in my oh, car oh yeah because then I thought I'd have to see you again to get it back oh thanks <laughs> anyway I won that I got three out of three I got two out of three. You're one about a gerbil or whatever, a stupid ha, guinea, pig. guinea pig. Like you've never mentioned a guinea pig before. I've mentioned Jenny in the past. Jenny, Jenny. give me my prize. Give me my prize, oh, please. Yeah, got, so there you go. You I want a fanfare oh. added to this. Yeah, Donald. Okay. We'll put it up on the back. Shall Actually, we? we could. There you go. That could be a background with a mask. <laughs> it's a bit face. shiny. It is a bit shiny. <laughs> well, there you go. Cool. So, well, um, look for beautiful Martha next week. I will. I think I'll we need to now. show you the world beautiful my, um, <laughs> my collection of animations. The story is so complicated. For... In fact, should we make the whole week next week just watching your <laughs> media projects? If you like to see all of Ben's media projects next week and us discussing them... <laughs> if then... I can see them. If I can find them. I don't know if you... Because it was quite... Do, do YouTube just delete videos? I'm not sure. I don't think no. so. I think they've got huge servers on Google, haven't they? <laughs> and, um, do you remember the... <laughs> <laughs> the Disney do- documentary I got my friend. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> His friend had a cold. <laughs> and you made her read oh, this cool. whole yeah, I'll try dissertation. And find yeah, I'll try and find them. Yeah, honestly, they are a sight to believe. I, do you know, it's so sad because YouTube wasn't around when, when YouTube wasn't around when I did... Um, or oh, it was really in its infancy when, it first, mm. when I first started doing media studies. So all my media study projects have just gone. <laughs> and I did a really good one as but well. You've got one where you're doing some sort of cut or something, don't you? Office. Oh no, that's something else I did. Like as an after, mm-hmm. like an adult education thing. That's awful. No, we, well, I'll, I'll show that next week as well. If you show your media projects. Um, okay, so we have got given sent this video for us to watch and react to. Do I need volume or sound? Uh, I d- think volume's fine. I just want to give a shout out to who sent it to me. So it was on my Instagram. Um, thank you so much to Jess. Thank you, Jess. You're the one who suggested this video to me. Yeah, I'm very um, upset. Suggest it to me, though. Well, <laughs> sorry, Jess. Je- Jess, he's not happy that you didn't message him about it. But uh, thank you for messaging me, because that's funny. Um, and I, I hope the weather gets better in your uh, neck of the woods as well. Um, because apparently I brought really bad weather down <laughs> when I drove down. So <laughs> Okay, so we're going to watch this. Okay. Um, Oh my god! So basically, for anyone listening, uh, they're on one of those rides. <laughs> oh my god! It's like a, it's not a roller coaster. It's a ride that like flings you up in the air, doesn't it? And yeah, catapult kind yeah. of ride. And uh, a seagull must have been flying by as they were flying up, and it just so happened that it was smacked into her face. But to be fair, to the way the, she gets rid of it. Yeah, to be fair to the poor seagull, looks completely. <laughs> the seagull just, like clings to her neck. I wonder if he's okay. Yeah, he Seagull. flies away. I think he's okay. I don't think it was that <laughs> bad. I mean, she would have had a pain and she would have been hurt too. <laughs> His beak went into her. Yeah. But oh, it's like the, the, the seagull the smell. kind of... Oh, yeah, but it stinks. The seagull kind of hugs her around the neck and she just grabs it by its main body and flies <laughs> and throws it off yeah, as if nothing's happened. Things. So good for her. Good for her. Um, yeah, so that's a yeah. brilliant video. Thank you, Jess, for sharing that mm. with me. I've, have you seen that before? No. No, I've never seen that before. But... Um, yeah, she's um the way she just deals with it. It's just... She dealt with it perfectly. But before you play this one, I just want to explain this. So this is a video okay. I found this online, is a video, yes. and I want to talk. It's basically a cat that's been taught lots and lots of buttons around it, and it all says different things like "I love you" or um, "How are you" or "Hello." Is that I think mean it's going to gonna turn off. Don't know. I'll find out. So basically, the buttons basically mean like have lots of different meanings to them, and uh, and I just wondered if you think we can never teach our cat to do the same thing. So um, we'll see what it is quickly, and then um. So 
So the cat's kind of purring, <laughs> so cute. So he's just pressed the and I love you button. Around, yeah. So he's just pressed the I love you button, but the owner knows there's 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 another reason why he's doing it. Now he's just pressed. <laughs> and so she's got human buttons as well that she interacts with him. She is a female cat. Yeah, the the owner uh. has human buttons. Says what hmm? And she the cats then press the button treats. <laughs> now isn't that clever? See, I don't know if it's just like some cats can be taught and some cats can't. But I've be I found you on taught TikTok, Charlie. Oh, well, I've taught I've taught. There's two tricks I've t- tried to teach Charlie. One's been somewhat successful, mm. which is basically if you have a treat in your hand like that, and then you go like that. Yeah, he comes over. He comes over, and then you, he learns that without even a treat in your hand, you do that, and he'll come over. He does do that. He's looking at me now as well. <laughs> But there's another trick where you're meant to be able to do like a hoop with your arms like that and then you put a treat that side and they jump through the, your arm hoop and he refuses every time <laughs> to do it. He will not do it. And I just wondered if anyone else has ever taught their cat tricks because there's always been a kind of a, a rule mm. or a and how old were they when you did do it? Mm. Charlie's nine or ten or eleven. <laughs> yeah, so he's a bit maybe stubborn in his yeah. ways. But I, I mean, I think that's amazing. Plus, you just give him treats without him having to earn it. So he does earn it. He has a little wobbly mouse, a weeble wobble mouse, yeah, and but then he you knocks move it. it for him to get like the first. Three I explain to him how to do it one more time. So I push it gently. One falls out. He's like, "That's how you do it." Then, and then he starts tapping it with his paws. Right. He's well, fine. We will see. Let us know um, in the comments below. We are rushing now because the video is, I think, about to cut out with overheat. <gasps> And um, we've been going a long time. It's all been in one take, so we're all doing very well right now. So um, there you go. Thank you for listening and watching us, if you still are. Send in some couple questions you might want me and Alex to ask each other. That would be fun. Send just videos in that we can react to or whatever, or any topics or news that you want us to talk about. Let us know. Find us on Twitter and Instagram. All details will be in the notes yeah, below. Yeah, our private ones or our Wolford Weekly one, whatever one you want to... Or comment below here, whatever you do. So... um. There you go. Next week we will be trying to find our, s- our media uni- projects. Not university, God. College, <laughs> not university. College <laughs> media projects to um, react to. So that'd be lots of fun. So thank you for watching, and we will see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, bye. And let me know what you think of my hair. Bye. Crap. <laughs> <laughs>